Hello and welcome to this uh, simple demonstration of how to perform looping with um, LeapTest and Selenium. What we'll do is we will open a browser uh, using the Start Web Browser uh, building block and then we'll go to the uh, social network site reddit.com which contains a lot of articles that people vote on and give uh, so-called karma points. And we'll, we'll try to find uh, any article that has more than 40,000 points. Uh, and then we'll just try to read the, the title of, of each one of these articles on the screen. So uh, this is our starting point. And what I'll do is I'll just add a find web element, a building block, and uh, capture uh, what we're looking for directly inside a browser. So when I click this, it's going to open a browser and go to reddit.com. And um, this little capture button or panel appears and uh, we can start capturing stuff directly from the screen. And I'm just going to capture each one of these, uh, just one of these articles. Here we go. Um, and here we can see we just found an article and uh, here is a list of strategies for finding um, uniqueness about each one of these articles and and the strategy that was automatically generated by leap test is that an article is a div um, and it has a class that equals something here and this text uh, you know that, that starts with something and so if i want to get all of the articles not just this one what i can do is i can you know i can edit this a little bit and say well uh, i only look for class contains something this this looks to be um, a unique identifier for that particular article so if i just do this and then click validate uh, we can see that we found a hit here in the in the dom and i can then go forward and and see that i hit each one of, uh, of these articles inside the browser so this is a good strategy for finding each one of these articles um, and um, the next thing i want to do is I want to capture each one of these um, uh, vote counts here. So what I'll do is I'll just add one more of these find web elements and capture just any one of these vote counts. Here we go. And this one is even easier to understand. It's, it's basically just a strategy that says, well, it's a div. It has this unique text. We'll just remove that and then in order to find a score, uh, unvoted, uh, whatever, probably scores enough, uh, but we'll just leave this and click validate. We can see that we find uh, each one of, uh, of these scores, just like before. So this is fine. And now all we need to do is hook up uh, the found element of the first block as the source element of the second block. So what that means is that we're only looking for scores inside you know one of these articles that we found and then what we can do is we can say use all occurrences which means find all of these ones and then loop through them one at a time and then execute this building block looking for the vote count inside each one and i'll just this just finds the web element what i'll do now is i'll just get a web number and Again, the number we want to find inside the vote count thing, that div we found before. So basically, if we run this case now, uh, we're going to um, we're going to see a Chrome being opened, and uh, we will loop through each one of, of these articles inside the browser. And if we just follow along in uh, in in leap test, we can see what's going on. Um, and there's just something a little wrong here. You see, if, if we just go to the top of the log, we can see it says found number, uh, uh, sorry, it kept going. Let me just stop it, yeah. So found 179, but really it said 17.9, 17.9, 21.1. And so, so there's something with the decimal separator that's wrong. And that's because on my machine, the decimal separator is set to a comma. We just set that to a period and well, basically just switch these two around. So now we have a way of finding the vote count for each one of the articles on the page. And then the next thing is we want to look for only the ones that have more than 40,000 uh, points and then read uh, the article title. So the first thing we'll do is we can use the find format 
and say we're only looking for ones that have a k after the number. So you know that that's that's an easy way to uh, to find the ones that are above ten thousand. And then the next thing is we want to have a, a filter for a value that's greater than forty. So that means on this page we would find this one and that one and that one and and so on. Only the ones above forty thousand votes. And the final thing in uh, in this case would be to uh, to get uh, sorry to to find uh, the title. So we'll do that by clicking uh, Find Web Elements and capture. We'll just capture any one of these titles, and then look at the strategy that gets uh, created. Well, just uh, having um, an A ref is not quite enough. So we'll look at one of the other strategies here, and here's one that's using a class. It says it has to be inside uh, one of these article divs. Uh, and then it's it's a link with a class of title may blank outbound. So basically, we can just delete this hierarchical part of the strategy and we can tweak the, the class thing a little bit because we're pretty sure that just having a title is, oh, sorry, uh, is, is probably enough here. And indeed, if we click validate, we can see that we, uh, we get each one of these titles. So just like before, We'll just make sure that we uh, that we hook this up to uh, the same source element element to the uh, to the article. We can either drag a wire from here, or we can just take the output wire from there, and put in as our source element. So like this, and then I'll just add one final block. Oops, like so. We will just get web text uh, using as our source element for this the found element, the title. So let's uh, let's run this case now. And then if I click on, uh, on leap test, we can just follow along as it goes. So we're opening the browser and we're starting to, uh, to look our way through uh, the page, but there's a delay here. Uh, something is, uh, something is uh, stalling us. It seems like it took 10 seconds. So what we'll do is we'll just go back and investigate what could be wrong here. Um, and well, the thing is, uh, we are looking for, um, we're looking for, a, uh, sorry, uh, not that one probably. We're looking for something where we don't need to spend 10 uh, seconds waiting for it to appear. So we'll just set the timeout to 0 0.1 seconds. And the same over here with the text, we'll just set that to 0 0.1. Uh, seconds, so we won't just sit there for something to change the DOM of, of the page and then um, uh, you know suddenly make some some valid text appear. So uh, let's uh, let's just follow along uh, with leap test and the browser next to each other. And here we are. We can see the loop going, and we can see that every time we find something above forty k, we read uh, the title, and uh, and that's it. And I guess we can just we can stop the case here and um, and then just zoom in a little bit so maybe we can see the last one that was found was forty six point four um, and uh, we found the text even if I agree with your bumper sticker and I can just you know go to to the page and find forty six point four even if I agree with your bumper sticker so this was just a really small demonstration of how to do looping uh, with uh, leap test and selenium and how to use the found elements as source elements for other blocks, um, thereby chaining together things that happen in nested structures.